Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a freeze frame in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is actually a pretty simple effect to do, it just looks a little something like this, you know, just a freezes, you can do whatever you want during the freeze frame, there's a lot of different sort of applications for it, and then it continues playing onward, and you can do it a couple of different ways. I'm gonna be going through that throughout the tutorial. So let's get started. I have myself a sequence set up right here, which is some footage in it and then that text that we had earlier. So the easiest way to do this is just to click on this, so get your cursor where you want it to start the freeze frame, right click on this, then you wanna go up to insert frame hold segment. You click on that and you'll see what it does is it just inserts a segment right here where it's going to be a freeze frame and then it just starts playing again exactly where it left off. Drag your text so that it fits onto there and you know you can adjust the size of this freeze frame. If we want it like really long, we could drag it out to here, drag the text out here. And then now we have just, with just a couple clicks, a freeze frame just like so. And there it is, perfect, working, ready to go. A second way to do this. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. Second way is that what we can actually do is we can right click on here and go into add frame hold, right like so. What that's gonna do is it's going to cut it. And then you'll see that this keeps playing like so. So if we actually create, let's go ahead and cut out a segment first. So let's go like right here, right here. Now right click on it and hit add frame hold. You're gonna notice that it frame holds and then it's gonna jump at the end. So what it, this one, how this one is different is that the sort of the video is going to keep playing behind the scenes. So this is gonna be frozen and maybe you have some audio down here and this is a good option for that because if you just create a freeze frame like this, your audio is going to die out. So if you if audio is important, the audio that was recorded with the video is important to it, then maybe you wanna do something like this where the audio can continue to play. This will be frozen and then it'll just go back into wherever the video would have picked up. There'll be a little jump here, but that isn't always the worst thing in the world. If, if you cover that up, maybe zoom it in. So like maybe if we go to this next right here and we go into, I don't know, something like up here, effect controls and we scale this in a little bit, it maybe looks like we kind of like jumped into another camera or something like that. So that's a good technique if, like I said, the audio is important to you. And then if you wanna get really creative with it, what you can do is, let's go ahead and cut, uh, go back to the beginning here, let's clear these in and out markers, and let's go and cut ourselves out a piece again. And so what we can do is the last one, which is the frame hold options. What this is gonna do is it's going to allow us to, what What are we holding on? Um, are we holding on where the cursor is? Are we holding on where the sequence is? Are we holding on the end point, the out point, the playhead? That's the playhead, that's where the cursor is right there. Um, so you can kind of get to choose those. So you can see that if I said the source time code, that's the time code with the source uh, file right here, which is, uh, we actually have to double click on this one over here. Whoops. It's the source over here. And then if we want to um, go with the sequence time code, that's this time code, that's the time code you're kind of used to, you can choose a time code. Playhead, you can see that that, dis that disappears because all it is is just this playhead right here. And then you have the end point, which is going to be where the cut is being um, affected right now. Anytime you clip it like this, it's gonna to go to the end point. And then the out point, which is right over to the right here. So if we click okay, you'll notice that it goes to what the end would have been right here, which actually is kind of a different way to do that, that whole audio thing is so, the cut will jump, you know, at the beginning, which I think might look a little bit more natural. So it jumps at the beginning, you know, there's something to read here, and then it sort of goes back into the flow after it comes out. So maybe that would be a better sort of way to do it. But that's kind of what the frame hold options gives you. It gives you the flexibility to figure this out on your own, to make something that works with your footage and to get a good freeze frame. But that is basically it on this tutorial. Really, really simple. All it is is those three options. You got insert, frame hold segment to make it quick, add a frame hold to just sort of make it, uh, you can cut out your own segment to do it. This I think inserts five seconds by default. This one, you know, you can make whatever cut you want. And then this one is to go in depth so you can actually choose where the cut, where the freeze happens. That's it everybody. If you have any questions or comments, throw, in, throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related topics. And until next time guys, see ya.